All right, so as is the case, PBU picked Infernal Shrines, and so Bot Buddies does get first pick, first ban. Um, with Zeratul setting up so many plays in that last game, I would not be surprised to see Bot Buddies give out the respect ban to Zeratul. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised to see them just ban something that's strong in this map, like Ragnaros, Diablo, uh, Kerrigan. Kerrigan, super strong post four on this map. So any one of those could actually be great bans. All right, so the Ragnaros ban uh, totally makes sense. Ragnaros super strong um, still, so I understand the ban. And let's see what PBU decides to ban. Are they going to go with the Cho'Gall double double ban and say, hey, man, we'll still face you with whatever you want, or are we going to see something a little more uh, map-specific? All right, Artanis ban. Uh, let's stay away from the god swaps. I get it. Um, when those happen, people tend to die. All right, so jumping into the regular draft. Let's see. Um, maybe I, first pick Kerrigan here is not a bad pick. Let's see, taking their time. Uh, 60 seconds is what they started with, down to less than 10. Um, clearly discussing strategy and go with a Malfurion. Okay, Malfurion, super strong healer um, and can set up a lot of different things with his roots or his uh, Twilight Dream. So strong pick, strong pick. And Dahaka is, Dahaka Sylvanas. All right, so. Dahak is super strong in this map with his ability to soak top, bottom, whatever, any of the side lanes, and then get to where he needs to for the shrine. Sylvanas also enables your Punisher to do more. A Sylvanas shutting down the towers and allowing John Cena to just last that much longer can really wreak havoc on another team. So um, two solid picks for Infernal Shrine so far out of PBU and a solid healer choice out of Bot Buddies. So it'll be interesting to see what they get with their last two picks before we jump into the ban phase for the second round. All right, Johanna Thrall. Um, Johanna's still a good, good tank here. I like Diablo a little bit better just because he does so much damage to um, the skeletal defenders. But Johanna's a solid pick. And Thrall's a great pick. Uh, nice solo laner. You can leave him to do solo lane things while the rest of you rotate mid-bottom lane if that's what they choose to do here. And we do have a ban on the Falstad. Um, I actually uh, like that ban a lot. Falstad, of course, doing a number of things with um, Gust and making making a bad day possibly worse. 
So I I like that Falstad man. I'm curious what we're going to see for a ban out of Bop Buddies. This could go either way. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Ah, they were showing a Diablo ban, which I like, but I also like the Brightwing ban. Um, eliminate a global, especially a global healer as pbu has not drafted any healers yet vala sonia they are looking to go hard in the paint as it were um both of those characters will do a incredible amount of damage around the shrines kill a ton of skeletal defenders and just in general wreak havoc on the opposing team sonia after her recent changes has been uh way more frequently picked than she used to be so i um actually thoroughly like that and nazebo nazebo is great in the late game if you can make it to 20 with nazebo he does a ton of damage now um still a strong character before 20 but post 20 nazebo is a beast and you just have to look out for him so uh, another good pick on the side of bot buddies and let's see what they are saving their final pick for Looking at their team, yeah, okay. A Jaina is a good idea. I like Jaina. I like KT here too. Um, I don't like Li Ming as much, just because all the skeletal defenders tend to get in the way. But Jaina is a good mage choice here on the side of Bot Buddies. And so, what support? I think we might see an Oriole, might see a Rhaegar. Ooh, Rhaegar, Bloodlust Rhaegar would be sick here, um, because we would get a. Uh, all right, <laughs> Lily, it is. Um, okay, that one threw me for a loop. Ah, maybe we'll see Water Dragon Lily though. The question is whether or not PBU feels the need to go jugs or decides, hey, you know what? We have a lot of. We have some self-sustain on everybody, but Sylvanas, maybe we'll just go dragon build and see what we can do. But with all that said, jumping right into the draft or into the actual game, we have for the red team, bot buddies, throw a Saurus on the Jaina, Xythar on the Nazebo, I like Pies on the Johanna, Copious Girth on the Thrall, and Xander 206 on the Malfurion. And for the blue team, Penguin Bob in the uninstalls. We have Zero Max on the Dahaka, Arumis on the Sonya, Charisma on Bala, Fire on the Sylvanas, and Penguin Bob on the Lili. So, should be a great game. Um, I am hoping that Bot Buddies can secure a win and push us into a third game in the best of three. But if not, we will get a... Uh, new winner for helix gamers league week six even though this is just an exhibition best of three um pbu will have the bragging rights of hey man we won and it does look like we might be seeing some blind talents out of lily that could be interesting and spider build probably out of nazebo Bot Buddy is immediately sending Nazebo bottom lane and Johanna top lane. Ah, looking to scout out the... I have a Sylvanas with me and we're going to cheese your front wall strategy. So both teams just kind of posturing around. Does look like Johanna's gonna stay top lane and Nazebo's gonna stay bottom. So maybe we're gonna see a 1 3 1 split out of uh, out of the bot buddies. This could be a disaster though for Nazebo. As he may nope, he's gonna get stunned a little bit, still able to escape. Dahaka did go ahead and brush Stalker up to the top lane. 
So Dahak and Johanna is going to be the match in the top lane. And it looks like Bot Buddies may actually uh, move into a rotation. Or at least a rotation with everybody but Nazebo. Um, but Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls is definitely going to stay with their uh, four-man rotation. And Nazebo taking a ton of damage but is able to escape um, the gank from the four-man rotation of PBU. Johanna getting really low top lane though. Um, Dahaka, both of them are kind of pushing the lanes evenly, but Dahaka is doing more damage to Johanna than the other way around. And we're going to have the first shrine be in the top lane, so I would expect PBU to go ahead and rotate all the way up top after clearing that wave. Um, or I guess they could possibly clear, wait and clear this middle wave to try and secure the level 4 talents. It looks like that's what we're going to get. Ooh, so close to four, but not quite there. However, Dahaka finishing these off should get them four. And it looks like we have Bot Buddies starting the shrine right away and looking to get an early lead. Um, they do have a 10 Skeletal Defender lead. But Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls moving in and looking to get some kills. And that may be a dead mouth. Indeed, it is secured by the Sonya. And a stun onto the Thrall is going to lead to a dead Thrall. Vala throwing out Hungering Arrow and Multi-Shot doing a decent amount of damage. And with that, Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls does secure two kills. Um, and unless something odd happens, the Shrine itself. Sylvanas is already shutting down the wall so that everybody but Sonya can work on taking this out. Um, so the Punisher goes straight to the fort. Meanwhile, the Haka has gone to soak mid lane and bottom lane. So, Penguin Bob and the Uninstall is really trying to secure their XP lead, but the Bot Buddy is not having any of that. Comes in and kills Lily. Um, Sonya, as she is sitting here grinding out as many Skeletal Defenders as possible, is at 34 versus 20 on the side of Bot Buddies. So, the Shrine is definitely going over to Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls. And here comes that Frozen Punisher looking to push in on the top lane of Bot Buddies. Sylvanas shutting down the tower. And a big two-man stun from the Frozen Punisher is going to cost Malfurion and Thrall their lives. So two more kills for Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls. And with Sylvanas shutting down both the tower and the fort... The Punisher is actually pretty healthy and should actually be able to take out the Keep Wall. Level 7 has been secured by Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls. While level 7 is about a third of the way away for Bot Buddies. Uh, Johanna taking a good amount of damage. The Punisher did jump over and everybody is going to run away with their lives. Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls looking to break down the wall and possibly engage here. Um, and they did get in, but they have now lost their Punisher. And Sonya may have just forfeited her life. Yes, indeed. But a full level and a half lead for Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls over Bot Buddies. Um, thanks to both the structures they were able to knock down. And Dahaka pushing both the mid and bottom lanes. Um, which looks like he is going to continue to do. While the rest of PBU grabs some camps. Alright. Vala going in pretty deep here against the Jaina. Does about half her health damage to her. And forces Jaina to back away. Nazebo chasing out the Haka. I'm um, not sure. Yeah, that was probably not the safest move, but that's okay. All right, so we got Impalers picked up by Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls. We have the Fallen Shaman picked up by Bot Buddies, um, both pushing on the other team's lanes. And Sonya um, invading 
the Impalers. Oh, and there's a leap because Sonya does have her 10. And that's a dead thrall, followed possibly by a dead mouth. No, well, Sonya was going to go deep for that kill, but it looks like they're going to go ahead and back out. Um, Lily did end up going jugs. And we did have strafe taken and used. So, Penguin Bottom and the Uninstalls are going to get this Impaler Camp mid lane. And it looks like bottom lane is going to be the next shrine. So, a couple of kills picked up on the side of Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls at the cost of four of their ultimate abil or heroic abilities. And it is an Arcane Punisher. So, PBU looking to take quite an early lead. Meantime, Dahaka top lane has picked up the Fallen Shaman Camp. And the rest of Bop Buddies is being forced to clear lanes in the hopes of getting 10 quickly because I do not think they want to run in on PBU and the uh, being down a uh, talent tier, especially a heroic talent tier. So 10 just around the corner for them, and there it is. But with a 34 minion lead, I don't know that they're going to be able to stop this. We do have Earthquake Falling Sword again. Um, Nazebo going in with... Not Gargantuan, but Ravenous Spirit. And that's going to be a kill on the Sonya. This is a nice kill. Uh, Ring of Frost is out. But John Cena is going to finish off that Johanna. And we're going to have a solid four-man push bottom lane with a set of Impalers. And uh, the Arcane Punisher. So I would expect this to also make it to the Keep Wall. Mm, stun on Nazebo. And it looks like... The PBU guys from PBU trying to follow up on that, but are not quite going to be able to. So PBU quickly approaching 13 and the keep wall. Uh, Punisher was baited over and Sylvanas did shut down the wall and the towers. But the Punisher is going to be dead before PBU can break through the wall. So it looks like PBU is going to stay just for the wall and then back out. Yes. Level 13s have been picked up. For PBU, Bot Buddies is about two full levels behind now. Alright, and it looks like PBU is just going to split and start doing some individual laning. Dahaka, meanwhile, actually, wow, Dahaka pushed that Fallen Shaman Camp all the way up to the keep and got that keep down to about half health. So kudos to Haka. That was a strong push. And we do have Sonya middle lane working on the fort with Vala as it looks like Johanna is going to look to engage with Falling Sword and see what they can do here five on four. Uh, however, Vala was able to escape and no kills gotten on either side. Um, Bot Buddies really does need to soak 13. Especially with the Haka still in the top lane, just kind of doing solo lane things. PBU going to go ahead and pick up the Impalers on their side of the map. And could possibly engage and invade on the Impalers on the Bop Buddy side of the map. Yes, they are. Oh, leap on to Nazebo. That is a dead Nazebo, even though Malfurion was able to cleanse him. And it looks like the rest of Bot Buddies is probably going to back out and not look to push this. Um, PBU, of course, with two sets of Impalers, is going to rotate around and try to invade the Fallen Shaman camp on the side of Bot Buddies. Oh, Earthquake is dropped. So was Sylvanas' arrow. And we do have Thrall being killed immediately. But that's a three-man Ring of Frost landing from Jaina. Which got a lot of value and is going to pick off that Lili. But Penguin Bob and the Uninstalls is able to secure the Fallen Shaman camp. And it looks like they're all going to escape with their lives. Oh man, Johanna is trying hard with that Ravenous Spirit. But is not able to secure either of the kills. And now Sylvanas looking to turn it around and maybe attack the Johanna. Oh, Nazebo really low here after getting dragged by... The Haka, but nothing came of that. However, Johanna really low. Sonya going deep and looking for a kill. Sonya may be dead, uses her leap defensively. And it's 15 versus 12. 13 has still not been secured for Bot Buddies. And 
the Penguin Bomb. The uninstall should quickly get 16. 16 versus 12 is not a fight you want to take. The boys in bot bays need to soak quickly. Because when this Punisher comes out, if it's still 16 versus 12, they are going to be in trouble. Um, bot buddies are clearing out the middle lane and have finished off all the Impalers. And have gotten 13. So at least they will not be down. Two talent tiers, only one. The Haka kind of scouting it out and watching to see if they come to engage. Uh, Bot Buddies is not. And Penguin Bomb and the Uninstalls have secured the third Punisher for the game. So we do have a Mortar Punisher pushing mid lane. And with Sylvanas here, this wall should actually be stopped and allow the rest of PBU to break the wall down almost immediately. So they are ready to go in. On the Johanna that baited the Punisher across the wall. It looks like they're going to play it safe and back out. Just finish the wall off and now go in and look to engage. Um, so that Sylvanas doesn't have to focus on shutting everything down. Nice strong stun followed by a leap. It's going to lead to a dead Johanna. A very low Nazebo. But in the back we did have Thrall turn around and get Lili down. However the first keep of the game is down. And PBU running around chasing, looking to get maybe another kill or two so that they can possibly finish here. And that's going to be a dead Jaina. Oh, Nazebo, Nazebo, don't come out and play. Sony just wants to throw some swords your way. Some stuns uh, from John Cena followed up by Vala and Sony for a double kill. And that is going to be the game. 